So I'm about to start playing soprano saxophone in my quartet this coming school year. And as I've been learning some of the rep we're gonna play, my right hand, especially right here in this muscle, has been giving me some trouble and I've had a little bit of pain. Lots of people I know use the leg and wrist saver to replace the right hand thumb rest and widen their hand position in that right hand. I played quite a bit of soprano in the past. I did two years in saxophone quartet in high school. And then I've also played a bit of solo repertoire for soprano saxophone. And I have had this right hand thumb pain for quite a while, but I was never playing long enough for me to feel like I really needed to buy one of these wrist savers. However, now that a lot of my time is going to go towards playing soprano saxophone, I went ahead and ordered one. In this video, I'm gonna unbox it for you. And then I'm gonna give you my first impressions with it on the soprano and then I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts after using it for a couple of weeks. First, I wanna tell you a little bit about Brennan Lagan, who's the inventor of this product. I did wanna preface one thing. I did order this product on my own, and I'm not being paid to make this video. No money is exchanged hands between me and Brennan. I'm making this video just to give my overall thoughts on this product because I've heard such great things about it. So Brennan Lagan is a repair tech up in Pennsylvania who owns his own business, Lagan Music. I will link the website down below if you wanna check that out. He does a lot of saxophone repair and he also invents his own products like the Lagan Wrist Saver and then the Lagan Lip Saver, which I use all the time. It goes on your bottom teeth just to protect your lip from biting on it and it just, it makes my life so much easier and allows me to play a little bit longer. It's so cool seeing all the things he 3D prints to improve the ergonomics of the saxophone. So let's open this up and see what's inside. And I've messed this up really badly. So the wrist saver's here, and then he also threw in some stickers. These are super cool. And then he also threw in a lip saver, which I was talking about. This is actually great, because I don't have one on me. My saxophone case is at the Butler School. He 3D prints these caps with his logo on them, super cool. And it's breathable, it's the, the neck tenon cap. It unscrews, whoops, and it holds the lip saver. So this you'll boil some water, put it on a spoon, dip it in, and then it'll be really translucent. And you'll put it on your teeth, form it to your teeth, pull it out, let it dry, and that just acts as a little teeth lip guard thing. And then he makes this little container here to go on your saxophone and you can store it in there so you don't lose it. I keep mine in like a retainer case, but now I've got one of these and that'll go right on my saxophone just like that, how cool. Thank you so much for sending that, that's awesome. So let's see what this is about. Ooh, so it comes in a little bag. So here's what it looks like. I don't have my soprano on me, so I can't put it on just yet, but I will cut to me being at BSOM in just a little bit, and I'll put it on and show you my first impressions of it. Okay, so I made it to BSOM, I put it on. However, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties. It has nothing to do with how good the product is, but has everything to do with how my saxophone was built. So I've screwed it on. He has a video on YouTube explaining how to put it together and that really helped. I'll link that down below. So it's wiggling around just a bit. It's a little bit too free. At first glance, it seemed like this right thumb screw just wasn't going in far enough and actually messaged Brennan and sent him a quick video over just to see if I was doing anything wrong with the uh, general assembly of it but it doesn't seem like I'm doing anything wrong. He pointed out that there might be some extra solder down in the screw hole um, from the factory. And when I look down there, that is definitely the case. He said I can go get the screw thread shortened on here and then it should be great. So in the next few days, I'm gonna go get that fixed and then I will report back. Unfortunately, can't give you my first impressions just yet. Again, this has nothing to do with how good the product is. I, I really like how it feels so far. Even though it's wiggling around a little bit, I can still put my hand there and see how it feels. I'm gonna go get it fixed in the next couple days and then I will report back to you after I've done that. All right, so I went and got it fixed. It doesn't wiggle around anymore. They just had to flatten the screw that it came with and that, that fixed it. There was some solder down in the receiver. Shortening the screw did the trick. So my first impressions, just feeling it in the right hand, it definitely opens up the right hand a lot. Like it feels way different. Almost feel bigger than the Alto. I wonder if when I pull my Alto out after this, I'll feel a major difference from that. But it definitely makes the right hand feel like you're playing an Alto, which ergonomically for my hands feels really good. So I'm gonna play a few notes on this, go through a practice session probably, and tell you what I think after that.
So I practiced with this thing for a little while and I can already tell you it's going to be absolutely life-changing for me. Throughout the last 30 to 45 minutes while playing, I've yet to experience any pain in this muscle next to my thumb, which I usually have. Of course, I'll continue to play on this for the next few weeks and let you know how it feels. So far, I'm absolutely loving it and I'm so glad that I went ahead and purchased it. Um, this is going to be absolutely amazing over the next few months while I'm playing a lot of soprano and quartet. Again, I'm going to keep working with it for the next few weeks just to see how it feels. And after that, I will get back to you. So I will see you then. All right. It's now been about two weeks playing on this thing, the Legan Wrist Saver. <laughs> I almost said the Lip Saver. I've probably been playing on the Lip Saver for about... Man, it's probably been five years now. I think after Ezo went away, I used some tape and then I found this and decided that this is what I was going to stick with. I've probably had this exact one for about two years. It's kind of yellowed now, but I should probably boil it down and reform it because you can do that. I know I talked about this thing earlier in the video. Here's what it kind of looks like. You just kind of form it to your teeth and it fits down there so that when you're biting... Anyways. It's not a leg and lip saver review. It's a leg and wrist saver review. This thing is absolutely amazing. And I, it, one of the best purchases, aside from probably my iPad I've ever made. It slides right on the Soprano, you screw it in, and it just fits my thumb so well. I know I said this earlier, but it makes it feel almost bigger than an alto. I think it'd be interesting to try and figure out how to make this the same width as my alto saxophone, just because now my alto one's a little smaller. So after playing this for a few hours, I go back to my alto and my hand's a little smaller. The point of this for me is to take away the pain, and I have felt absolutely zero pain over the last two weeks of using this. I used to have such horrible pain, that muscle here between my thumb and my finger, and it was just so tense and squeezed and not good. Now it's open, wide, and I have more of a, a relaxed hand shape. It's not as tense, which that, that's the whole point in all of this stuff. Anyways, if there were to be one downside, it would have to be the fact that you have to unscrew it and screw it on every single time, just so that it will fit in the case. Maybe some cases it fits in, but the, the standard Yamaha cases, it does not. It looks like it fits, but it doesn't. I would not suggest leaving it on there and trying to shut the case. You'll probably mess something up. So yeah, you do have to store these two things. It comes apart like this. You have to store these two things away somewhere every time and then screw it on. It probably takes less than five seconds. However much I feel inconvenienced by it, it's so convenient to be able to screw it on quickly without a tool and have no pain. So I guess that kind of cancels that out. I don't know if there's really anything else to say about this. It pretty much does its job. The only thing that I might test out in the future is putting different um, thumb hooks on here. Right now I just have the standard one that it came with, but you can change this out and put a, a rule on rest, which um, I'll link that down below if you're curious about that. I have one on my alto saxophone and I've started to like it. It allows you to, to shift the thing left or right just so it fits your hand. If you have bigger hands or smaller hands, it moves your thumb position left to right. That can be helpful. I might do that. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, I will leave the link down below, as well as to just Brandon's website. Um, he does saxophone repair, like I said at the beginning of the video. I'm sure you can ship your horn out there if you want him to do some work on it. He does great work. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.